Today we're installing Prime OS. Yes, hello, welcome! In order to install Prime OS, we have to download the Prime OS itself. So we're gonna type in here Prime OS here in Chrome and we're gonna press the first result here for the Prime OS website. Press download Prime OS. And here you may be wondering, Prime OS Classic, Standard and Mainline, which one should you choose? And this depends on the generation Intel processor you're using. As you can see, if you're using the first gen or below, you will use the Classic. If you're using an Intel series second gen or above, you will use the Standard. And if you're using an Intel gen, 5th gen or above, you will use the main line. In this case, I will download the Prime OS standard. We're gonna download the ISO image here. And we're gonna press click here to start the download. It's searching for mirrors, so let's wait here. And now we can just press the primary here, it doesn't matter. And the download has begun. Now we can go ahead and enter a new tab and put Rufus in here. We're gonna download Rufus here to create a bootable USB device. And now we're gonna download Rufus 3.5 Portable. This version doesn't need any installing, so it will, it will be very simple. And now we're gonna have to wait for the downloads to complete. Now that the files has completed the downloading process, we can go ahead and start Rufus here. Just double click, just run run and yes yes. And now we're gonna go ahead and plug in our USB flash drive. So I have the Kingston flash drive here, and now we're gonna select the ISA image, Prime OS standard. And now we're gonna change the partition scheme to GPT and it will be the target system UEFI. And now we're gonna just press the start button here and let the process begin. And of course we will write an ISA image mode which is recommended. Just press OK and OK and the process has begun. Now that the USB bootable device is complete we can go ahead and install Prime OS. Now we're gonna boot into the USB bootable device. This is different on every computer, so I'm using a Microsoft Surface Pro generation one, and I will have to hold down the volume down button and the power button at the same time to boot into the USB device. And now release. So now that we successfully booted into the USB bootable device, we can press advanced options. And we're gonna press Prime OS Auto install to specified hard disk. Enter. And now we're gonna press the hard disk SDA here. And we will press yes. and it will now write the OS to the system hard disk. And now it's done, we're gonna plug out the USB flash drive and press reboot. Now we're gonna enter Prime OS. And now it's booting up the Prime OS system. I will skip the setup process here and I will go ahead and show you how the system actually works when it's completed. As you can see, successfully a Prime OS installed. You can see the notification drawer here. You can start Chrome here. You can see the start menu, you can see the settings, everything works. Wow, Prime OS, that easy! And now you can enjoy Prime OS. Thank you so much for watching this video. 
Don't forget to comment down below if you have any questions and we'll try to help you out as fast as we can. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up button to show some support. And don't forget that notification bell so you can get notified of our new videos. And don't forget to share this video to show your friends and family if they need this tutorial. And don't forget to subscribe. It's the most important things of all so we can grow this channel together. Thank you so much again. Remember, this is... Shima! And Sutan!